Hey, Minecraft Mentor here, and today we're going to be showing you how to build the Crusher from Immersive Engineering. So first, we're going to need to place down uh, six steel scaffolding. You're going to go one over, three forward, or two forward, and then fill in the gaps with light engineering blocks. That's the first layer right there. Next, we want to do a light engineering block here, a redstone engineering block there, and we're just going to surround this area with fences in the middle another light engineering block and then bring these up like that so there's your second layer pretty simple straightforward uh, the final layer is just covering up the center uh, three by three area with hoppers like so grab your immersive engineering hammer and uh, you click the center fence and that's going to create your multi-block structure right so what this one does is crushes down items and we actually need a lever here so the lever tells the machine whether it's on or off right here in this little port. It is powered from the other side up on this little orange dot here. So you throw the power down, however you're going to do that. Then we have our exports point is right here, the orange dot with the black hole. We can throw it on a chest or a conveyor belt here. And then finally, the input is on the top. You can throw items in here or use a uh, dropper. You can use the uh, dropper conveyor belts like that I showed in another video, but let's turn this thing on. Kind of loud, but it does process your ores for you. You can throw a bunch in there at a time and it'll break them down and export them into this chest. Another little thing to uh, note about this is while it's grinding up iron or certain ores, it does have a chance to give you a secondary ore. In the case of iron, it's gonna give you nickel if that does work. Also, it's not only used for grinding down ores, it actually can grind down mobs or players, which I have to go into easy mode here. Place down a slime or something inside. Well, slime wasn't the best choice, but you can see it did, did crush one of the slimes and uh, give you slime balls. So you can actually use this as a mob grinder at the bottom of your, of your uh, mob spawners. Got a bunch of slimes in there now. And that's it for this one. If you found it helpful, like, comment, subscribe.